Hello guys, hope you're all well. Thought I'd do a little vlog today. Excuse my hair, it is horrific. I'm at the stage now where I've got to straighten it before I curl it, which is so annoying because it's so much heat going on to it. But if I don't, it's just like a frizz ball. Yeah, I thought I'd vlog today. I'm not doing a great deal. I'm just gonna get ready and do some shooting for Instagram. What dogs, because it's absolutely stunning. It just looks like spring is on its way, so. I'm super chuffed by that, um, but then the next few days I'm meant to just piss down. So I'm gonna get a big walk in while we can, uh, wear the dogs out, get some sun on our faces. I'm looking so pale. I actually fake tanned last night and I never fake tan, but I felt so disgusting. I'm like PMSing so bad. I'm a sweaty mess. I feel just, you know when you just feel horrible before your period? Bottom of my back's hurting really badly. I've actually been trying out a new CBD which I'll share with you um, in this video. They're sponsoring this video so it's come at a perfect time because it just helps with my lower back when I'm due on my period so much so uh, I'll show you that in a bit when we go downstairs. What have I done on the weekend? I gutted my wardrobe this weekend like I was so, I was so ruthless and I'm so pleased because I've just like halved my wardrobe i'm so pleased by it just to make room for some new spring bits i've got a bodysuit coming from depop a little top coming from urban outfitters and then i've got some more bits coming from shein which i've had on my wish list for ages um just some like little spring tops and stuff right i'm ready for the day i'm just going to quickly mention the cbd i said about earlier you guys know before that i always use cbd and i find it really really helpful so if you've got any sort of aches and pains or um, you have trouble sleeping or stuff like that. I've had like gummies and stuff before. I've had topical ointments. Um, me and Paul use it all the time and we absolutely swear by it. And the brand I'm working with in this video is called Premium Jane. This is the first product I've actually tried from them um, and I love it so far. It's really, really nice. So I chose the Premium CBD Topical and this is the Soothing Cocoa Butter and Eucalyptus one. The packaging is lovely. I'm a sucker for nice packaging. Uh, but like I said, I get bad lower back pain, especially around the time of my period. So I smother this on and it really helps just to ease that pain. I think I mentioned in a few videos back that I actually strained my arm whilst working out. And I use CBD um, ointment for that and it worked a treat. So yeah, this is a new one to me, but I'm absolutely loving it so far. It's got eucalyptus, um, jojoba oil, argan oil, emu oil, grapeseed oil all the good stuff it's loads listed on there but i will put a link in the description to it so you can check out the um all the ingredients if you are unsure a really good milligram in it as well so it's two ounces and there's 1500 milligrams which is a really good percentage of uh cbd don't be fooled by the small pots because they do go a really long way especially let me put you down somewhere especially if it's like a waxy consistency which like this one is and you only need the smallest amount it smells so nice. It's got that eucalyptusy smell, but it also has got like a chocolatey hint in it from the cocoa butter. It's really easy to work into the skin. It's like a creamy, waxy consistency, and I just love it. I'm gonna put some on my back in a minute. So it's not the cheapest to buy. Um, you can get cheap ones, but they're just really not worth it. But I think this one is 95 pound, but I have got 20% off if you do wanna try it. I think the code is Kate in capitals. Put it across the screen and link it below as usual but if you do suffer from aches and pains and you've never tried cbd then i highly highly recommend it i know i mention it a lot in my videos but i just find it works really well it's not just my word you can take for it paul uses it as well he suffers with like bad knees and he rubs it into his knees and goes to bed and wakes up and it's like completely soothed so he swears by it as well please use the discount code because it will save you a lot of money 20 percent off quite a lot off 95 pounds so let me know if you pick it up let me know if you try it or your experiences with cbds like i said they come in loads of different forms so you can get the topical ointment or you can get um cbd gummies you can get a oil um it's kind of you've got to kind of mess about with it a bit to find what works for you but i really like the topical ointments for things like lower back pain so yeah absolutely love this it's also really good if you um work out a lot as well and you get like aches and pains after and all your muscles are hurting it's really good for muscle ache right so i'm gonna go and shoot some content for instagram that is my day today like i said i'm gonna walk the dogs but other than that i'm waiting on some post it's not a very exciting day i've just got my nail stuff down 
I haven't been in here for ages because all I do is nude and red, but I was going to do gels, but I haven't got the right colour that I want, I don't think. I want to do something springy because the weather is something else today. Look at the blue sky. So nice. Dogs are sunning themselves. So yeah, I need to go through these. I'm thinking maybe like a lilac. They all need a good shake. I was going to use my little gel kit. I've got one from Madame Glam, which is really good. Like, it, If you want one that's portable, this is amazing. Um, but I think the colours with this were red. So yeah, I'm thinking a nice lilac. Or do we go, what's a bit neon in it, a bit more summer. So I just gravitate towards nude all the time. I'm so boring, nude or red are like my go-to. Red. <laughs> But who bought that? Do I ever wear that colour? I don't think I ever, ever, ever worn that. It's pink, but mm, it's boring, isn't it? No, I'm going to go lilac. Pretty similar. I think that one's a bit more pink. I'm going to go for the Barry M one. don't know what shade this is in. Uh, Berry I C. Yeah. I'm going to put this on. And hopefully it's not all dried out and horrible inside. Look at my nails. So chipped. Right, and I'm going to do that. got three coats on and I reckon it could take another one. It's a lovely colour, but it doesn't cover very well. Um, so yeah, I think, and I've just smudged my thumb, so I've had to start all over again with that. The brush on it's tiny. I don't know if you can see that. It takes forever to put a coat on. But yeah, I'm going to persevere because I love the colour. Unboxing some stuff I've had in the post. I've reordered. Uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned it on YouTube, but I had some skincare stuff sent to me from Wild Mint Cosmetics, like a vegan skincare company. And initially I was like, yeah, all right, I'll give it a go. Um, I probably won't like it because I'm not like big on skincare. And it has changed my skin. Honestly, I'm in love with it. Re I've used all the uh, products they sent. Um, they're all empty. So I went back on the other day and reordered everything they sent plus a night cream and a work face scrub. I bought the second lot myself, which I don't do that much with things I get sent. I just, I use it and then I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it was all right. I probably won't buy it again, but that stuff is incredible. Um, I've mentioned before that I've had a load of hormonal acne um, in my late twenties and early thirties, and it has helped that so much. It's cleared my pores up, like in my T-zone and by my cheeks. I always used to have really big pores here and I just, I cannot speak highly enough about it. I've got a 50% off code um, if you do want to try it, which saves you so much. My basket came to like a hundred pound um, and obviously I got it for 50. So you get so many products for your money and they are just incredible. So I feel like I need to bin all my other skincare because I've got like Charlotte Tilbury stuff, which is really expensive. I'm going to say that I like that more than the Charlotte Tilbury stuff. I mean, I still love the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. My skin's really dry. I, um, I wear that, but this stuff is just incredible. Right, I'm going to go and try and bodge another coat onto my nail. But yeah, how spring-like is that? Excuse the kitchen, absolutely disgusting still. God knows when we will get round to renovate in our kitchen. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. I can't remember when I started the vlog, but I think a few days have gone past where I haven't picked the camera up. I thought I'd vlog again today. It's absolutely pissing down outside. So nothing exciting outside will be happening. I've spent most of the week um, in the garden tidying it up because we're having a new fence. Um, being put up soon and patio and stuff we've been living here just over two years now and we're kind of only just tackling outside so I'm really excited about that but yeah other than that I've just been doing some worky bits this week nothing too exciting um, nothing exciting enough to pick the camera up. this morning I've got a zoom call with Nas I'm doing a well, I'm not doing a makeup masterclass I'm taking part <laughs> in a makeup masterclass. Um, we sent some new products over, so I'm really excited about that. I'm always a bit nervous when I do Zoom calls, because I'm guessing it's not just gonna be me and a makeup artist, because Nas wouldn't choose me to do that. 
Um, I think you can get like up to 100 people in a Zoom call, can't you? So I'm hoping uh, it's going to be me with lots of other people. So yeah, they told me to arrive with just my foundation and my eyebrows done. So I'm currently doing that. I am using all NARS basically, um, using the Sheer Glow, which I've used for years. Uh, my concealer is the NARS, um, what's it called? Radiant Creamy Concealer. I get mine in Custard. And then underneath that, where's that gone? I get asked quite a lot for makeup videos, but because I'm not, you know, experienced in doing it, I don't really like to comment much. I just whack it on and hope for the best. But underneath my makeup, I use the BBI uh, by Herborium. This stuff, I swear by, is so good. If you want like a no makeup day, um, whack this under your eyes with a little bit of like brow gel and it looks awesome so I love that and it goes on really nicely what shade is that in? I don't know maybe it's worn off I'm not sure what um, if I can find it I'll link it below but you will need that in your lives I thought I'd jump on here do my makeup with you I'm looking old and haggard this morning I need some sun on my skin so I'm just gonna like I said I've got my foundation on I'm just gonna whack some brows on the call isn't so half 11 so I've got a bit of time it's about nine o'clock but if I just get up get ready so I'm not fanning around this is the YSL don't know what this is got a years ago couture brow palette and it's got like three shades in but I only ever use the middle middle shade so yes that is my day I'll show you the products I'm going to use with NARS or well, they sent them over I was scared they weren't going to come because she said she'd posted them Monday and they still went here yesterday afternoon so I was like oh god my postman doesn't come till like one o'clock and the zoom call was at is at half eleven they're all products I've never tried from NARS before so I'm really excited to use them I'm really excited about today something different to do in there I'll wipe my eyebrows on and then I'll show you uh the products I'm going to use right I'm ready well as ready as I can be without putting all these products on um I look weird with just foundation and eyebrows the first thing they sent over was the NARS liquid blush and this is in the shade Torrid and I've never tried a liquid br uh, blush before so I'm interested to try this out I love the packaging so much it's in this like oh, I don't know what sort of it's kind of like a rosy pink I guess I think this is going to look stunning on the cheek Try not to get that on the brand new carpet. If I unbox all these, they'll be ready to go. Next thing is the Afterglow Lip Balm in the colour Dolce Vita. Now, this is quite a similar colour to the um, tinted blusher. Is that what it is? A tinted blusher? Liquid blush. Um, how nice is that? It's like a pinky rose gold tube. Their packaging is so simple, but I just adore it. That's gorgeous how well that'll pick up on camera but what a nice colour I'm going to show you the like completed look of this anyway I'll pop back on after I've done the meeting and show you how nice is that packaging though I'm in love with that uh, we've got a lip gloss I think this is just clear this is called the triple x lip gloss um, yeah just clear lip gloss Looks like that I don't know whether it's plumping or anything we'll find out when I do the call but yeah it's just clear lip gloss can't go wrong then I've got two lip liners I believe oh sorry eyeliners this one is in the shade Mambo now I'm not an eyeliner wearer if I'm honest this one's brown so it might be a little more wearable for me I just feel like because I've got like hooded eyes quite small eyes I feel like it closes my eyes in even more but we'll give it a whirl this is just like a brown quite a nice color actually um and then the other one i've got a feeling this one is gold which i'm excited about because i've never tried gold in my like waterline yeah this one's called rodeo drive i love the names of nars products so it looks like that i don't know how well you can be able to see this on camera but how nice is that that's i feel like that's going to like brighten the eye up i'm guessing that's where they're going to put it in the waterline I hope they're not going to ask me to do a wing liner because that just won't happen. <laughs> um, then we've got a lip liner. This is in the colour Morocco. I'm guessing this is going to go in conjunction with the tinted like lip balm. Yeah, it's just gorgeous, like a nudie colour. With kind of, again, like a rosy undertone. Can't wait to try that. I'm a sucker for a lip liner. 
And then the most exciting part is a palette. Now this is called the Copper Voyager Eyeshadow Palette. Now I think this is like a mini travel size of another palette that they do. I was so pissed off because the postman threw this over my back gate. Thankfully, none of it smashed, but can you imagine how embarrassing that would be to explain that, yeah, sorry, it's all broken, I can't use it. But it's like a little mini palette, it's like the size of my hand. Oh my God, those shades are so nice. They're like all my favourite eyeshadow shades in one palette. They are stunning. So I'm hoping the makeup artist is going to let me know how to apply eyeshadow properly. It's only been 30 years and I still don't know. But um, yeah, I think the postman has... It's not shattered, but there's like spillage all the way around it, the knob. But yeah, how gorgeous is that? Obviously, I imagine all this is available to buy. If I can find it online, I will link it below. But I'm so like overwhelmed that I am even get sent NARS products because like I said, I've used them for years um, and it's really exciting. I'm really grateful for all these bits. Um, and then to the meeting, I've got to bring some other bits with me, I think, which I've already got. Orgasm blush. I don't know if I got that. I've got deep. Th I think I've got deep throat. That'll have to do. I think. Yeah, deep throat's like a, like a pinky colour, which I'm hoping will go. But I love that. It's just it brings such a nice flush to the cheeks. Uh, what else? Laguna bronzer, which I have got. My favourite bronzer of all time. It's so so nice just the perfect matte bronzer and it's other than it being massively pigmented so you have to be really light-handed with it i love it and it's a little bit dark for my skin currently so i have to be really gentle with it but in the uh, summer i just go mad with it so that's lagoon and what else have i got to take climax mascara which i don't have i'm gonna have to take my laura mercier one. Oh shit brushes got those and a mirror which I've got there so yeah I'm all sorted this doled up on youtube before so this is the finished look i absolutely love it the eyes it's not picking it up on camera it's just like ready for summer beer garden smoky summery eye and i absolutely love it it doesn't pick up very well on my eyes because i've got like like i don't know whether i said earlier but my my eyes are hooded so i can never really get a um eyeshadow to kind of like pop because it just sinks back into the like crease of my eye but I really like it. I love how glowy and like tanned and shimmery it is. So yeah that was awesome. I'm chuffed to bits and I've got nowhere to go so I'm just going to sit in the living room <laughs> on the sofa with a face full of makeup but um, yeah I'm glad I did that because I learned a few new things and in few new techniques of how to apply it. My absolute favourite items. Everyone needs the liquid blush. I am in love with this. So I just put my um, foundation on and then this straight over the top but used it not just on your cheeks but like the makeup artist, I'll link her Instagram down below, it says to use it like up here, the top half of your cheek and it creates like that flushed sort of look. This is incredible and it blends so nicely over the top of foundation. It doesn't like peel or remove the foundation that you've got on underneath. So I love that and I also absolutely love the tinted, I keep saying tinted, it's not is it, what's it called? Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Dolce Vita. It's incredible, it's so nice paired with the uh, lip, 
liner, which was, what was this in? Morocco. That combo is unreal. Love it. Loved all the products. As always, NARS is just like my favourite. So I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. I'm waiting for Paul to get back from work. Um, he's not gone back to work, but they're um, cleaning the shop out and getting it ready to go back. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. I'll probably go out and walk the dogs this afternoon. I need to get this video up, so I'll probably end it. I'm going to end it today, get it edited. Um, I need to get this need to get that sorted. Anyone else like sick to death of lockdown now? It's just every day I wake up, I'm trying to think, what can I do today? Now, obviously I can shoot for Instagram and stuff, but sometimes I just want to not do that. I need to blend that a bit better. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm going to do this afternoon.